Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this channel. In this video, I am sharing my learning summary from the Middle Discourses 23, uh, which is the Termat Mound Discourse. Uh, in this discourse, basically, uh, the background is that there, in the, there was Venerable Kasapa who was staying in the dark forest and there was one late night, a glorious deity appeared in the dark forest and uh, that deity gave the description a simile of a termite moon and how to you know clear off that termite moon and uh, uh, Kasapa actually uh, did not understand you know that what he what that simile was so he went up to the Buddha so basically what the deity said that uh, monk this termite moon fumes by night and flames by day the Brahmin right the Brahmin said dig clever one having taken up the sword so basically the termite moon, Buddha explained, is the body which is impermanent, which is, you know, uh, decaying every time, every moment, right? Fumes by night and flames by day is like we constantly think about what, you know, in the night we constantly think about what happened during the day and everything. So, then it is said that Brahmin said, dig clever one, having taken up the sword. So, dig clever one, clever one is us, mendicants, right? And taken up the sword means taken up the sword of wisdom. This Buddha clarified to Kasapa afterwards because first when the deity explained all these thing, uh, things to Kasapa, he could not understand this, what is meant by the termite mound and you know. So Buddha said termite mound is like the body and digging the uh, clever one, taking, having taken up the sword means digging, you know, penetrating with wisdom, right. Then, uh, then it is like the deity said that taking up the sword and digging the clever man saw a sticking point and the Brahmin said throughout the sticking point, dig clever one having taken up the sword. So sticking point, Buddha said, is the ignorance that we have to dig out the ignorance. Right? So ignorance is the root cause of all suffering, uh, is the, what is stated in the Noble Truth number 2. Right? So we have to dig out the uh, 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 ignorance. Then taking up the sword and digging, the clever one saw a bullfrog. So bullfrog is basically a simile for anger. So the Brahmin said, throw out the bullfrog, right? So anger is again services. So that has to be taken out. Then digging, 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 the clever one, the person who was digging, saw a forked path, you know, a path that leads to two ways. So this Buddha said is the simile for doubt. You know, whenever we are practicing any teaching, there is what doubt comes, right? So, so, Buddha, so basically Buddha is saying that take out that doubt also. Then digging, 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 the clever one saw a filter of ash. This filter of ash, ash are the five hindrances, right? The five, the kind of hindrances, the sensual uh, desires, restlessness, ill will, right? These five uh, 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 hindrances come up. So, Brahmin said, throw out these hindrances also, right? Basically, what we have to do is throwing out is basically becoming mindful of all these things that will arise in our path, right? And then we can just witness them, right? Then... Continuing to dig, the clever one saw a tortoise. So these tortoise is basically the five aggregates, right? The body, mind, feelings, um, mental formations and consciousness, right? So we do not, we basically do not get attached to these five aggregates, right? We even, so even we throw them off. Then uh, continuing to dig, the clever one saw a butcher's knife and a shop, chopping block. So these are the five sensual stimulations. Right? The stimulations due to the five senses. That has to be also thrown away. Then the clever one saw, continuing to dig, the clever one saw a scrap of meat. The scrap of meat is the greed. So Buddha said that you have to also drop the greed. Then continuing to dig, the clever one saw a, sees a mighty serpent. So mighty serpent is the stage where the mendicant, it's, it represents a mendicant who is free from all defilements. So Buddha said, basically, the deity said, leave the mighty serpent, do not disturb the mighty serpent, worship the mighty serpent. Right? Because at that state, the person is totally free. It's like he has become an arhant. Right? So that person needs to be, it's, it's like, it's, it needs to, that person is at that stage where he should be revered, right? worshipped. Right? Okay. So this is basically the discourse where, so understanding, just, you know, kind of recapping, is basically that when you, uh, what Buddha is asking is, that this is this body, uh, this impermanent body, and you keep digging, 
right? You keep investigating, digging, and then there are a lot of things that will come. So now, what I, what my just learning here is that, um, uh, is that I am relating it to the practice of insight meditation, vipassana, right? So when basically we meditate, what we are doing is we are being mindful in our meditation of lot of things. Whatever is arising at this in this moment, we are aware, right? It may be something from the uh, like from bodily sensations, bodily pain. So basically, go back to the middle discourses ten, satipatthana, satipatthana discourse, the discourse on the four foundations of mindfulness. So it is body, feelings, mind, and the objects of the mind. So we are basically witnessing anything and everything that is arising right now, and we are mindfully just witnessing them. So what basically happens is all this when we do the practice, when we do our insight meditation, all these things arise. Sensual desires arise, um, desire arise, greed arise, uh, restlessness arise, laziness, sleep tendencies, drowsiness arises. So you just witness, 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 and that is like the process of purification. And and once like through the continuous and you know consistent practice. We are free from the defilements, right? So this is like the kind of a path to purification, which you know Buddha is trying to, uh, the deity was trying to explain it through the simile of a termite mound. That when you keep digging, there are a lot of things that will come. So we do not stop at anything. We continue digging with the source of wisdom. What is the source of wisdom? Wisdom is just mindfully watching them arise and fall away. So with that continuous practice, insight generates in us. Of the three marks of impermanence, three marks of in, uh, existence, which is in, impermanence. Everything is impermanent. Second, non-self. Anything, nothing has a permanent self, right? Third is suffering or unsatisfactoriness. That means ev- uh, beneath every happiness, there is an underlying sense of unsatisfactoriness, and that is basically you know, something that wisdom basically frees us, liberates us from this samsara, right? So. Uh, what we have to do is that we have to uh, do our regular practice of insight meditation morning and evening, right? If you want to learn insight meditation, I have made some videos on insight meditation. There is a playlist that is available on this channel. You can check that. I also do one-to-one insight meditation kind of a coaching session, a one-hour session where I explain, I teach in a guided way as to how to do the insight meditation. If you want to opt for it, the link for that is in the description. You can uh, opt for that session. Second is. Be mindful throughout the day. More and more mindfulness becomes slow, right? Mo- the moment we become slow and mindful of like daily activities like um, eating food or drinking tea or walking, more and more, you know, slow be- we become. We become more and more mindful of the various, you know, these things, the five aggregates, the doubt, the everything that that is arising. So. Buddha is kind of like a, a preparing us that you know when you are on this path, these all things will arise, and you have to continue to master all these things till you become like a mighty serpent, a mendicant who is free from all defilements. Right. So do uh, please uh, reflect on this. Do study the discourse. Do share your insights and reflections. What you learned or what is your one takeaway from this discourse? Right. Uh, in the comment section and. Uh, there is a full playlist of all the middle discourses you can check right uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much namo buddhaya namo buddhaya